What's going on, Doombots? Tony Skinjili here with a brand new event review. This one, a little bit uh, different from the character unlock events like Toy Story and Aladdin. This is more in line with the Potions and Gold event, the Scrooge McDuck Money Bin Heist kind of event. This is the Intergalactic Rune Rumble. Now, the Intergalactic Rune Rumble is going to show up occasionally. The, not every month, but almost, maybe every six weeks or so. Uh, in the same kind of frequency you expect to see the potion and the gold one, only this one is specifically for runes, upgrade runes. Alpha, beta, and gamma. And if you've been paying attention, I've been kind of telling you, you know, there are certain type of characters, like the kingdom characters are going to be necessary for something, and the downtown villains. I mentioned uh, for the last couple weeks the downtown heroes would be necessary for a couple of things, one of which I heavily implied, Wink, is a big hero six style event. But this, in addition, is another event that's going to require access to these characters. So the first thing I'm going to say right off the bat is if you try to have a full team of three, four, or five star versions of downtown heroes, downtown villains, wilds, kingdom all at the same time you are going to be pulled in so many different directions that you're going to notice you can't do well in sorcerer's tournament you're going to notice you're not really contributing too well in uh, club wars whenever they go back live you'll notice you're you're not progressing in pvp arena because this game is and always will be designed specifically as a tall roster success game you build a team until you can't anymore or you need to work on somebody else, then you build them. So this event, the Downtown Heroes, comes at a very unique time. We're going to take a quick look and talk about why. Right now, in the game, there aren't many Downtown Heroes that are farmable, specifically farmable early. But you can, of course, make a purchase, if you like, in the game to get access to some of the characters. Now, Sully is a character you start with, but he is one of the characters you tend to drop off early. He doesn't really contribute to the other kingdom characters on your team, and he's definitely not a downtown villain. Not an important keep. Buzz Lightyear, if you were working on Toy Story events, you know, maybe you put a little bit more into Buzz than other characters. So you probably have at least a two or three star Buzz, which is great, but you don't have much else. Uh, Darkwing Duck, he's free. As long as you complete your dailies, you're getting more and more Darkwing Duck shards. So over time, you're going to complete him without single farming him ever. Um, and then you have some of the other characters. Woody, Jesse, Scrooge McDuck, probably not a character you're going to be farming too early. Sergeant Calhoun is an 80 unlock, I believe. So it's hard to get to her and hard to unlock her, especially while you're trying to progress anyway. Judy Hops has a lot of endgame implications, but another character that's probably not very high up on your early farm list. Uh, and Elastigirl is terrible. Anger also kind of breaks serve at the end game, not really great in the early game. Korra, Monterey Jack, characters that don't really have intrinsic value. So this orb giving you a guaranteed 20 of, you know, at least one of these characters, that's a big deal. Uh, 20 shards for 800 is is a decent chunk. The problem is there's so many different characters in this pool and so few that you actually care about that it's probably unlikely uh, to matter too much to you. That said, if we take a quick look at the event itself, you'll see the first one only requires three downtown heroes, but you do require a team of five characters at three star. So if you do have, just for the argument, Sully... Darkwing Duck and Buzz Lightyear, just those three characters, you can definitely complete the first event, which will give you a pretty decent chunk of both Alpha and Beta ability runes. If by some chance you were able to progress pretty well during the Onward event for Ian and Barley, two downtown hero characters, or right now during the Toy Story event, you probably can have a three-star version of at least Woody and Jesse, if you did put a little bit of money, effort, or time into these characters, you might even have a four star, which means you can probably complete the first two nodes of this. Ultimately, the goal will be over time, get more and more. Like I said, this is not a 
a weekly event. This isn't a daily event. This is an event that shows up on occasion, so you should treat it as such. You shouldn't necessarily uh, focus on the characters for this event unless they're characters you're also working on for any other reason. And that's mostly because resources are clearly limited, and if you spread yourself too thin, you're going to wonder why you can't really progress and why you're always out of gold or the resources that you're trying to farm in this and of course Scrooge etc so when you take a quick look at all of these you can imagine a little bit of a progression line right and if this event is set up to occur in between the frequencies of other events like the onward event or this toy story event it makes sense that it's going to line up with your ability to obtain these extra characters uh, as a rule, as long as you can complete this first event, and you have a day or two to do it, as long as you can complete the first event, you're still going to get some value. Obviously, the further you can go, the better it'll be, but always remember the cost. So for this, I know that I can do the first two fights, but I don't have a fifth downtown hero at five star. I have four at five star, but I don't have a fifth. And because of that, I have to decide is it is it worth it for me to get a couple more of each of these just to progress a little more? Probably not. Uh, as long as you can get at least one done, you're in good shape. As long as you're aware that this event will be coming back and there are some characters you may want to work on, you should be okay. It's also a little bit silly to imagine having five seven star gear tier seven downtown heroes this early in the game so for all the people who can do that congratulations i'm very happy for you but for the average player i don't imagine many people even with a decent chunk of spending are going to go much further than this we'll see uh anyway i'm going to do one quick fight with these characters just to show you what it looks like I'm just going to use my entire Toy Story team because I can, and we might as well put some good spells on too. And let's see what it looks like. These fights are, they, they tend to not be particularly challenging, if you understand what I'm saying. They tend to kind of, the, the, the issue becomes getting the characters to that point. So keep the recommendations in mind, but you don't always have to follow them to a T. Oop. Sorry, I keep starting an auto. Obviously, I have a very strong Zerg, but the rest of my characters are not too strong, so... And Zerg is only available on this team because this is the 4-4 four, four star event, so it shouldn't be too crazy. But just to show you what the event is, it's always going to have a Buzz and a Zerg. They're going to have varying difficulties, so be kind of prepared for that. But completing this event gives you a decent chunk. I mean, obviously, you can tell I'm not hurting for these ability runes because I don't immediately invest in every character I get. I invest in the characters that I'm using. Uh, I might put more in the Toy Story characters as time goes on or the Onward characters or whomever I'd use, but I wouldn't necessarily use this event as a focus point. I think that's a huge issue and I think that a lot of people will tell you, well, if you don't have this character for this team or you don't have this for this, then you're gonna lose out. Correct, but there's 10 things that you need specific characters for. So it's important to know what they are first and then try to find overlaps. Try to find why are downtown villains good? They're a good villains team, they're a good PVP team, they're a good Sorcerer's Arena team, they unlock characters, they're used for events, they're all around a great team, and you do need a villain's team. Same thing with heroes, why is the Kingdom team? Well, the characters that are Kingdom are used to unlock a decent chunk of, of good characters, you get a lot of good value out of them, but you also can use them as a very good PVP arena team. So you look at what you have to do, and then you just kind of try to fix the characters that are the best at multiple stages, which is why I wouldn't necessarily recommend players get Hades first because he might help in PvP Arena at the end game and he might be an adequate villain AoE damage dealer, but ultimately, until you can finish him off, he's not going to uh, do much for anybody. Hopefully that information is helpful and hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully you can now see that if you work on Downtown Heroes now, it's very likely, wink, that those characters are going to be more useful in the next month or so, maybe for another unlock character or 
whatever. But overall, with the exception of the two teams, the Onward team, or specifically Barlinian, and the Toy Story team, the Downtown Heroes characters are very utility characters that don't necessarily help you progress early, and they aren't a full team as of right now. They're, they're just kind of a hodgepodge of good characters. So I don't want you to stop what you're doing and start working on Downtown Heroes. I think in time, as you progress and as you've completed the teams you know you want to succeed in whatever you want to succeed in, you can start like leaning into other characters. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below and let me know uh, how well you're doing in this event or if you have any questions about whether or not you should get by Korra, the answer is no. Let me know. And uh, either way, have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scongeli, and I'll catch you later.